Okay. Five of them can accomplish. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a battery adapted light. This I got at a hardware store. Just a simple battery. Battery adapted light. 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 Okay. And now I'm using over here something called a proximity switch. Ah, proximity switch. I'm going to join it. Whatever. And now I don't even have to touch this particular switch. This, if I break the plane, <coughs> so with this particular switch, as long as the person can break the plane, the light goes on. Now, how could we use this? We could actually have a long wire where if the child was in one room and you were in another room, the child would just simply activate the switch and if you saw the light on, you would know that the child needed some assistance. <coughs> this particular switch is really only for a particular kind of person. It couldn't do another switch, but I just wanted to show you the range of different switches. Get a feel for that. That's called a proximity switch. The switches can sometimes be more expensive than you might like. And I went to an electronics store, and I got a switch. This is something called a tread switch that people, secretaries used to use them. They would be on the floor, and they would turn something on. Or they had a very difficult it had a very hard spring inside, so you had to have a lot of pressure to sort of... It's about a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of So I took the case off, took the spring out, and put some foam in there. And then I put the case off, and then I put the case off, and then I put the case off. I put the case off, and then I put the case off. So now I can do the same thing with a very inexpensive switch. Now the child might not know that this is going to be used for communication. You'd have to introduce that, you'd have to teach it to a child. They're not going to get it right away, but that's part of the process. And I'm not suggesting that you use a light. I'm showing you a process. 